decided to start on the CT side, which then, in turn, Virtus Pro selected DE Train, which allowed iBuy Power to select the CT side. As we kick off the pistol round, uh, we'll see what they elect to do. We've got a bunch of decoys that are set up over there towards the Ivy side. Let's take a look there. You can see all of these decoys, uh, six of them. So there's six players on this map to be on the lookout for on the other side. As they're going to be pushing here, they're going to see a quick little rotate happen there. You've got AZK just on the other side. Those decoys are still going out. Bomb is going to try to get planted, and it will. And so now they're going to be able to backpedal out of there. One player has been taken out. That was Pasha by AZK. On the back side, AZK has picked up multiple now. Swag is working, uh, worrying about the lurk, and Skadoodle, I believe he shot him through the smoke before he pushed through there. And so uh, now it's going to be 1-0, to zero and I buy power just like that. Kick things off pretty quickly here. Yeah, and even though they took control of that bomb site and got the bomb down, there was no progression, you know, without killing anyone. That's, you know, not a lot of space for those defenders to set up and to prevent that retake. And I have power players were just so aggressive, like just how we saw in cash. They were just so aggressive in all the moves they're making. One of the things that I like about what's happening, if you look at Virtus Pro right now, so they got the bomb planted, and sometimes what we see on other maps, like Dust 2 on Inferno, they'll buy CZs after they get that plant. But what we're seeing right now is they're not buying anything but smoke. So only spending a couple hundred bucks here uh, before they move into the next one. Because what they're really, the grand scheme is not what happens right now. It's what happens later whenever they get those ops in hand. So their goal is to get those ops quicker or those sniper rifles quicker before they their opponents do. So right now on the entry, uh, Pasha. So they'll get another bomb plant. So again, sole focus is to get the bomb planted. And so right now it's going to be left up to Taz and, Taz and Bialy. As Taz is just hiding in the smoke and still lurking about, it's going to be Bialy. And there's going to be a Dren picking up the kill. Now they're going to get the defuse. So again, let's go back to the tactics here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Remember I told you. Told you. I will. Shoot some holes through any of my strategy that I have in place here. But you saw their VP only bought smokes, and so really they're thinking about the bigger picture here and thinking about what they can do later on in the gun rounds. Right. I mean, this map, part of the reason why it's so CT-sided is, you know, the economy plays such a huge role into it. If you can't get any money on the terror side, if you can't prevent the CTs from building up a huge bank, uh, you just get into a lot of trouble and a lot of a lot of momentum just goes against you when they keep rebuying these ops or, or auto snipers, whatever they choose to use. So those two bomb plants are huge to get them a, get them a full gun round this early. And so they, they decide to go ahead and buy all AKs, full head armor, full everything. So they're completely set up. Uh, but uh, what I mentioned about the sniper rifles, that's not the case here for them. They realize that they've got uh, a much better chance here with the AKs. So they're just trying to overpower. They're hoping that I buy power did not upgrade. But in fact, as you look at the other side, you've got M4s and an AWP uh, all ready for I buy power. And so something to take from that is because I believe there wasn't that many kills done in the beginning of the game. So they had money to work with continuously. So Pasha, he's picked up two here on the entry. Snack spotted one up on top of CT Heaven. And so now it's going to be down to this three on four. Neo low on health, uh, but Pasha continues. He's picked up three kills here in the round. We're on here with, uh, now with a Dren. Skadoodle's over there towards Z. And we'll take a look here and find that bomb carrier. See so right there over the top. You can see he's going to go and get that bomb planted. And Adrin, he's going to find, see if he can find an angle here. Still kind of taking their time right now. They haven't pushed in. We're back over now with Adrin. Still bomb ticking away there. And Neos picks up the kill there. Now it's going to be Skadoodle. He realizes how precious this op is. And so he's going to go ahead and backpedal now. And what a monster round from Pasha. You know, it's such an important round, and to find those three entry kills on the train, like, you know, there's so many places and so many, you know, the visibility out there, it's just crazy to try and find those three frags, and, and Pasha just gets so many entries for them and just opens up that entire outside portion of the map. Uh, and his team comes away with the win for it. Hey, if you could take a look, they were looking to see if they could find... Uh, find those players there. He will save that uh, AWP. We'll take a look and see if uh, Skadoodle can do something with this. Now we can see that you've got CZs on the other side, trying to keep that that money around that $1,200 mark. And uh, But we have got Nades uh, there from Swag, so we'll hop on board with him just briefly and see what he decides to do with it. So he's taking a look over there inside of mid. Now back over here to Skadoodle. So he's setting up there to watch over the top towards the bomb site area. Swag tosses that smoke over there towards the Z area, or towards T side mid. 
Haven't pushed up yet. You can see back and forth. There goes one. He spotted and now he's going to back up. They know where that op is now. They know that the I buy power is probably on some type of save here. Uh, but even more so, now they have the the intel that there is an op out in the seat out towards the outer area. Right, and they're actually taking advantage of a stack that I by power pulled off on the inside, putting that op outside and everyone else inside. And uh, Pasha's about to get another entry kill outside. As they're going to continue to push up there towards the outside, Skadoodle. Now he's going to back up. He's going to probably try to save this one, and Nitro is going to try to be as uh, much of a bodyguard as possible. As uh, Skadoodle gets that pick on Bialy. So now he's, uh, the bouncer is at the door there. You can see he's right there just saying saying whether or not any VP player can come through. Of course, the, the Pasha biceps probably will uh, say otherwise. And that's exactly what's about to happen. As Pasha says, you know what, I don't need uh, to be able to have any help to get in here. I'll do it myself. And uh, But Skadoodle, he bought his off in the second or the, in the uh, in the third round, and he's held it until the fifth round now. Right, and you look at those two kills that uh, that Nitro just got as they were chasing that op away. Those are going to be huge for this economy of, uh, of Virtus Pro coming up. So we'll look at, see, right now they're around that 3K mark, and they're deciding what they need to do now. The reality is, uh, so they're going to decide, they're going to put Skadoodle now. Uh, there towards the inner side. Now he's going to hold it down by himself. So he may have had the spawn that he needed. They've got uh, players going to push up there. They've got a collapse right now. He's going to go and toss out this flash. Peeks back around. He misses the op shot. Uh, he actually, uh, uh, Neo did get hit down to low health. They're down to 47. Now they're going to go ahead and push over here towards the inside. And uh, we'll see. There is one player that's going to be lurking about. That's going to be Snacks. Snacks has been spotted. They know where he's at, but the bomb is going to be ticking away here towards the B side. They are chasing for him now. They're wanting that kill. And so now Swag picks himself up in AK. And he's going to make his way back over there towards T spawn. And AZK is going to join him. Yeah, and they're just and you know that upper push by Skadoodle there, I think, was a little weird that they didn't send someone second with them uh, or a second player to help him out on that lower. You know, he just peeks that uh, flash, kind of giving away his aggression, and then peeks it, and he had you know two players looking at him, and you have one extra player there to maybe even just if it's help to flash or or to push and give him some defense. Uh, that goes a long way, and just having him up there isolated, uh, Taz makes a really aggressive play down that lower ramp, uh, and that whole bomb site's just opened up. So right now the score is going to be 3-2 to two here in favor of Virtus Pro. And recall, I buy power, they picked up the pistol round to start this game, and they followed up with getting the second round as well. But uh, if we look back at it, both of those rounds, it was very successful for VP, even though they lost them. They got the bomb planted in both of those rounds, and then ever since then, uh, they picked up the last three. So really it's uh, been a very... Good game for VP coming off of a, a loss there on that first map, 16 to 4 on cash. So now we'll take a look at uh, the setup that we have there. That looks like it'd be heading out here towards the outer train yard. We do have one player that's up top, Pasha, getting that opening. Snacks, he's going to try to clear out this upper area, but uh, I believe there's a player smoked out. That's going to be Swag. He's going to get taken down. Now looking back over here towards the Ivy Way. There is one player that's going to be right there. That's in the five hole. Skadoodle does pick up the kill. He'll get quickly traded now. And it's left up to AZK. AZK sprays, and he'll get dropped there by Bialy. So Bialy uh, and his team sitting up, leading this one 4-2 to two now. Right. You know, I think we've forgotten, uh, since this map has kind of fallen out of the rotation a little bit, how good Virtus Pro used to be and, and apparently still is on it uh, you know you're right good point and they were they were such a good team on it, it was such a scary map to play them on and um you're starting to see why here and just pasha is just playing lights out for them he's every every single round they've they've won from going outside he's getting those entry kills and those first couple frags for him and and he's just coming up massive for his team yeah you're right i think that uh Virtus pro they've kind of they don't care about which side do you think they're stronger because a lot of times they win their t side very uh very well. I mean, they've got a great approach to the game, and uh, their tactics really kind of work out there. So Viala, he clears out the site, and so now uh, bomb has been planted there. And they've got one player that's over there towards Z, and two on the back side over towards CT spawn area. And Taz touchdown there on just Skadoodle, but now it's left up. Nitro and Adrin just trying to get the kills that they can. 
And now it's left up to Nitro. He'll get dropped here by Snacks. 5-2 to two now. And let's just take a look at the economy right now. 5,700 is the minimum for I buy power. So we'll see what they decide to buy. We should see an op in the hands of, uh, of Skadoodle. And he will. So we've got an op there for Skadoodle and a Drin. You know, I'm see how well they hold it down. Surprised we haven't seen an auto sniper out of either one of the snipers because that's that's a gun that's very effective on this map. It's probably its best map to be used on. And um, you know that that was that was big for a while when this map was being played. It was always having auto sniper on your CT half. That was kind of uh, brought out by Get Right on the inner side, over by the uh, the Pop Dog, and so you know that's kind of changed for a little bit. Of course, we haven't seen Train so uh, in a while, so. Taking a look at uh, our current setup now. We've got one player overall. We can see Pasha just waiting for the smoke. We've got Skadoodle and Swag. Got a nice little crossfire here to help each other out. Nitro is also watching that area. I believe that these three players are watching too many angles right now. Uh, so now you've got AZK that's going to be there on the inside. Adren giving him that cover there. So we'll switch back over here to Adren watching the inside. Remember, AZK is watching upper. So now both angles are kind of covered there. Here comes the smoke. It's going to go have a quick counter smoke, flash bang. And there goes AZK pushing through, picks up one. Uh, he's looking for his third right now, even through the smoke. Shuts down another one. And Skadoodle, who was still over there by uh, the CT spawn area to watch Ivy, Pasha was going to flank on the backside and catch them as they rotated from the uh, outside to inner. And he was going to catch them through the CT spawn area, but uh, it didn't come to fruition. And his now score is going to be five to three as Ivy Power picks up their first gun round. Right, and, and you know it comes down. To, you know, such a big thing that gets overlooked is these first frags of the round, and that was the first gun round that that Ivy Power actually got that first frag of the round on. Uh, and you see that just transitioned into a round win. And um, Skadoodle's op is going to start to really play a big factor here. I think uh, now that now that if they can build up some bank and keep that in his hands. Oh, and he gets one through the smoke down the lane. Just knowing your angles, and he jumps over the top, makes that shot through the smoke. Both of them are going to be completely blind. Swag's going to be there. Here comes the CZ. And so Swag will fall, so they didn't lose too much from that round. But 5-4 to four now. So if you're just now tuning in, again, the first map went to I buy power 16-4 to four on cash. And if we need to get to the point, if Virtus Pro ends up taking this second map, we'll head on to DE Inferno. Right, and once again, uh, I mean, it's just a tall order for Virtus Pro after dropping that, that first map because uh, I buy power is going to be CT on Inferno event again. Got the angles now. We've got two players going to be heading up. Let's see if I can get the push here. Swag has actually moved all the way up. They are watching those angles. And he actually doesn't check and sprays through the fence. And he will be able to make his way out of there, so it works out successfully there for Swag. And uh, looks like Swag is actually still going to stay here. You're going to be pushing back around there. He heard Pasha, and Pasha with a nice angle there, picking up the op shot. Now you still have Skadoodle waiting here. And it looks like they're going to be heading over here towards the outside. So it's going to be really, they've got two teammates right there, one inside of Z. Here comes the smokes, though, as they're going to push here towards the area. We're on board here with Neo. He has his bomb carrier right there with him. That's going to be Taz. Taz working inside the site. He's still trying to clear out it, uh, that A bomb site. Skudo right over the top. He's going to get headshotted. Another headshot by Taz. And he's trying to look for his third one. And he will finally get taken down. Down to a two on two. 34 seconds left here in the round. Adrin still has his op in hand. And clearing out the site. There's his snacks. He's going to get dropped. And now it's left up to Pasha. 33 health. Don't know if he heard the scope there. If he knows exactly where he's at. Pushing up. And there goes Adrin. Picks up the CZ. Five to five now. Uh, in favor of Virtus Pro, or, sorry, all tied up. So five and five do equal each other, so. <laughs> yes, they do. And, and just, uh, you know, taking that bomb site with all those smokes up and they, and they drop the bomb in that two on two, normally those two on twos, uh, you know, kind of sometimes they're even advantage and just with the, the location of that bomb just put them in a really tough spot uh, with how Adren was opping down the lanes and Skadoodle was opping down the lanes throughout that round. Uh, it puts them in like a lot of visibility, like, eh, to uh, not be able to get that plan off. And so now we see P250s and uh, two CZs here by Virtus Pro. 
So we'll see the smokes and flashes. Their main objective is to get the bomb planted. So we'll stay with Taz here. Bomb gets planted on that backside barrel, and he will get it down. So now he's just going to try to stay alive for as long as he can, and he hightails it out of there, and says, hey, all right, made it to my second checkpoint. Goal one complete, now goal two. See if I can win the round. Down to this three on three, you've got Pasha, Taz, and Bialy. And Pasha has an open hand to make something happen. So you've got uh, Taz waiting, looking at the bottom of the smoke, see if he can see somebody there. And there's going to be a player there. He's going to continue to work away. And you can see Taz. He finally finds one playing the mind game. And, and AZK gets the knife kill. So not only, does they, not only do they get the bomb defuse, but they also get knife there. So that's another uh, 1,500 in the bank yeah, uh, there for AZK. And Taz just couldn't find him through that smoke with the CZ. He blew that whole clip. And... Uh, it looked like it was okay, but, you know, couldn't find the kill. It's, so, it's difficult sometimes when you're looking for landmines, kind of sweeping the area with your knife and trying to find your way. Uh, but uh, it's the right approach. I mean, let's, let's, let's be honest. It's, it's the right thing that you're supposed to do there. Uh, he ran out of ammo, and uh, his goal was just to take out that player to extend the round even further. Uh, Dren on the inside. Sorry for those of you at home that are wanting to watch real Counter-Strike. Uh, I'll hop into the action now. Uh, so now we've got uh, Adren backpedaling. He has his teammate right here. Remember that same move that they did before, but this time it doesn't work out. He's going to back up, hoping that there's, oh, as Adren through the smoke as well as Nitro right there to help out. And they just spam through. That's just the, the downside of that corridor, that area right there. Is it's so easy to spam through smoke like that. Right, and it's just, you know, it's common for some for players. You know, AZK just did it to him like a couple rounds before that, but uh, it's just logical that someone's going to try and use that smoke as a wall, and uh, it just kind of worked out the other direction that time. As we take a look here, you can see that uh, the again, the pistol round and the next round, they won both of those. Both of these rounds, the bomb was planted, so I would say they really won seven and a half rounds or, or eight rounds, uh, but as you look here, they've... Uh, now it's been a quick turn of events. We're now at 7 to 5. Let's hop back into the action. They're going to be heading over here towards the outside. On board here with Neo. Neo's going to get leg there. Uh, and he'll finally get taken down now. Uh, going to be left up to Pasha and Snacks. Snacks going to work his way out of there. But Pasha's still causing some damage over here towards the Ivy area. And so now it's going to be left up to Snacks. Snacks, he's going to be running about. I don't believe he's been heard yet. So let's see here. This is the player that's right here. Nice little angle that we were trying to get. He's be lurking about. And so now Duran, he realized there's been a lot of time that's passed. So they haven't checked those angles yet. Now AZK is going to go back for some cover. The swag is going to be lurking around here. He's actually taking a nice little stroll back towards the T-spawn area. And now you can see the angles that we're trying to work here. Now let's go back to Snacks. He's been spotted in a tough spot. And he'll get taken down eight to five, three round lead here in favor of Bye Bye Power. And and something you see in the first five gun rounds that I Bye Power lost, you saw um, a lot of a lot of entry frags, a lot of untraded kills uh, from I Bye Power um, that caused him to lose those bomb sites. And since those five rounds have gone by, the way we've seen I Bye Power pick up the next six is their defense is so swarming now. So when they find players who are coming out of a choke point, the defenders actually push up and get more aggressive and surround them, uh, come out from behind the trains and and make sure that they're shooting them from multiple angles and making sure they get their trades and, and get multiple kills for one player of theirs. And we take a look off the start. You've now got uh, Pasha and Snacks left alive here. Let's see if uh, Snacks can work his way around. He does have an op in hand. And we have seen Snacks be very effective with the op. And so he's going to... Uh, he has his teammate that could be over here. So he, he's tried to drop him that M4, and he will be able to pick that one up. But he does take some gunfire. You asked for an auto sniper. It was brought out, and it's brought to you by Adrin from IB, I Buy Power. And uh, off shot, barely missing there by Snacks. Very uh, pixel-type shot there. And so now you got Pasha. He's going to continue to run around here. He's got his rollerblades on. Yeah, he's going for that flank again there. They're really, I mean, there's a lot of time left in this clock, and uh, maybe not a flank, but just repositioning down this ladder uh, with all the time afforded to him, come from a different point of attack. And he could catch uh, Adren off guard. He'll be pushing around here. And he's right there. Oh, and he goes, hey, wait a minute. And finally, he's going to take him out. Now, pushing around. There is one player up on top. He now knows exactly where he's at. The bomb is just down right there. And Nitro does a great job up in top of his uh, sniper nest there that he has. And uh, picks up two with that uh, 
with that M4. So now 9 to 5. Yeah, and that was a really nice save by Nitro because uh, Dren's positioning there was a little a little suspect. Uh, granted, he couldn't have known that he was going all the way around him, but to be that uh, just that vulnerable from so many different locations without without any knowledge of where the t uh, the opponents were at that point. Yeah, he's he's watching a very tough little angle, and he has all of this area exposed. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a look now, see what they decided. They're going to be pushing towards the outside now, uh, right there on the as Nitro picks up one. And they will get the bomb planted like they have been, but this is the last round, so it's all about uh, who wins this round. There's no greater good here. See if uh, Nitro is still just holding this angle, working around. He'll get uh, caught on fire. I didn't realize he was getting uh, dwindling down there. He's sitting in that fire pit. He's now going to be down to this four on four. They're worried about the flank now. Just trying to give some cover there. Not, uh, Skadoodle picks up one, picks up his second. Swag through the smoke, says I'll keep spraying. And there goes Bialy, picks off the bomb diffuser. And the bomb will continue to go, and this will be it as they pick up the round. Six to nine. Great job by Bialy. As uh, one of the teammates there from I Buy Power was trying to be a meat chill, try to sit there and be that buffer. Uh, but Bialy had 30 bullets in that AK, and he used every bit of them. Yeah, and it was great because he actually, that, that looked so good for, for Virtus Pro to begin with and then some great shots and some great retaking by I by Power brought it back to a 4 on 1 I think by Ali just won that was. And uh, and just huge play coming up big when, when they lost their advantage. So 9 to 6, uh, better than what it could have been I mean, or it could have been a lot worse. As uh, you remember if we recall they won the first two, they lost the next five. And then from there, they picked up multiple rounds in a row. We'll uh, let this refresh itself uh, once the next round goes into play here. Uh, but uh, as you look at it, see what uh, VP can do here. They've lost, I believe, uh, they've lost every pistol round against I Buy Power so far. So far, yes. And one thing that's scary, I mean, I remember after the pick and ban phase, AZK kind of walked away from the entire process. I'm like, we haven't even played train as a team. So this T side could be uh, yeah, tougher I heard than. That. I heard that as well, so. And so now they're going to go ahead and get that, uh, try to get the bomb planted. It will go down. And that main objective, getting the bomb planted here on train on the T side. Now they're going back. You got Taz. Nice nade there by Snacks taking out Skadoodle. They knew he was over there by Electrical. And uh, they will get this diffused now. Nice shot by Swag with a burst fire. Uh, but uh, they will go go through that round. Upside for I buy power. Just like uh, v uh, Virtus Pro did in their first pistol round. They got the bomb planted. Upside for Virtus Pro. They only lost one player and of course they won the round. Right, and actually that, that same strat is what worked on I Power, and that's how they got those bomb plants uh, Virtus Pro did on their two eco rounds in the Terrace half, is that, that smoke off at the barrel, plant in the smoke, and just back off. And um, as a Terrace pistol round, it didn't, it didn't, work, uh, didn't work very well for I Power, and Virtus Pro just played that so smart, playing back from different angles and getting their picks. Yeah, one of the things that I thought was interesting is watching the, the metagame, the evolution and strategy with DE Train, because on the North American side, we always try to to plant over there towards the T side area in between those barrels. And then the Europeans said, no, there's a much better place to try to get that bomb planted uh, on the outer side. And I was over by that barrel, and that's what we see today. Uh, right now, Taz clearing out the site, looking for another one. And uh, Bialy will pick up that kill, and he'll at least get the defuse here. Set, uh, make that eight to nine now. But again, this is what I was talking about. They were, uh, in the beginning, were the North Americans before we really had the chance. This is where the bomb was getting planted every time. This is where they try to smoke off in this area, and they realize uh, that that's not really the best place. That this point right here, this barrel, it provides so much cover, along with smokes in that area. It's so difficult to see. And uh, so then, of course, the metagame in the North American side, that changed after uh, they had the chance to see that. Right. Um, so there's... A lot to it, and watching how uh, the games evolve, and that's one of the benefits of what I've loved about Counter-Strike for so long. We've been watching the same basic mechanics in terms of uh, economy and, and the, the way that you have to buy weapons, uh, but the meta has changed just because of the nature of the players, and I love every bit of that.
And that plan actually lost Kadoodle to get an early op here on the on the third round of the second half, uh, and that, that's going to be massive if he can uh, if he manages to get a pick here. Uh, I believe he's picking alley right now with his op. Checking the. Shooting. Yeah, he's actually boosted on the fence to kind of just get a surprise angle on this peak. And he gives up that position so he can start to push up even further. But he needs to be on the lookout. There is Bialy that's right around to be able to help out his teammate. We'll see Pasha in this same angle uh, over towards Ivy every round. And one of the things to take in, into consideration whenever we're watching, um, a lot of times whenever you're talking about default setups, uh, you'll see the player, if we're talking about the T side and their default, you'll see the player usually play the side that they play on the uh, counter-terror side, if that makes any sense. So Pasha in his default setup, on the T side, he usually plays Ivy area, and so now you'll see him quite a bit over here on the counter tear side playing Ivy area. Right. Not always the case, but uh, something to take in consideration whenever you're playing Counter-Strike. They're going to be taken around, and Adren comes back in. Bialy's picked up multiple here. Uh, it's left up to Skadoodle now, and he peeks out. And he's going to get dropped there by Neo. Here comes the defuse, 9-9 nine to nine now. One thing I want to mention from that round, um, we saw, we said that AZK mentioned at the pick and ban phase, they hadn't really practiced this map yet with this new team uh, that they're on, so they're kind of unfamiliar with it. And what you saw was three players working Ivy together. And because they're not used to this map and they didn't have necessarily like a, this great overarching plan of attack to achieve any of their objectives, they ended up just doing nothing behind three smokes that, that BP threw just to run that timer down with nothing going on in the rest of the map. You know, they were just counting on, on that opening pick from Skadoodle, and if they're getting boxed into just relying on one player to make a, a massive play to open something up, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. And they're deciding to go ahead and push against Pasha this time. Wrapping, Pasha still staying alive now. Oh no, Skadoodle hits his teammate, and Pasha picks up the knife. So... Ouch. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. Yeah, Skadoodle taking out of his own teammate. Luckily enough for him, the punishment is not that bad. Uh, but he does get knifed by Pasha, and Pasha says thank you. Uh, he's just going to be raking it in in the economy, and he, he really uh, didn't have the chance to, or didn't really need to use that many nades because he was just being uh, the uh, just the aggression from I buy power. And so now they've taken the lead here against uh, I buy power for the second time in the game. The op is out here for Skadoodle on the other side, but you asked for it before about the auto snipe. Now we're starting to see it in this play as he's just going to be tapping around saying, dance, dance. <laughs> <laughs> Laying at the toes and still doing a lot of damage. That big toe, it hurts, man. And so right there, peeking out, and Pasha says, where's the ridge? And now it's going to be left up to AZK. He's going to get taken down 11 to 9 as Virtus Pro. Extending that lead and showing why train uh, is not being used in a lot of the other tournaments because how CT sided it is. Right, and, and we're starting to see some of the dangers, uh, the warning signs for IVI powers. You look at the bank for, for Virtus Pro, Pasha has over 10,000. You see two players with, or you have one player with 8,800 and 6,000, 7,000. And that's even if they win a round, um, it's such a long road. You have to start winning like three rounds in a row to, to, to force this, the uh, Virtus Pro team into saving. Uh, even just one round. So it's starting to get really, really dangerous for Ivy Power if they can't start picking up some momentum. Snacks checking the angle here. He's got that smoke right now. Uh, he's going to have to fall back. They've got He's got a bunch of players to worry about. He's going to go ahead and fall back. Runs into the uh, into that post there, that, uh, that crossbar. And so now they're going to go ahead and push here towards the side. They have been able to take out two players, uh, but Taz is going to try to even this up now. Adren checking, clearing out the area. He's now spotted one. This is a very necessary kill. He's all over the place. Decides to go back over here to the CZ, and he has missed every shot. That was such a very crucial kill in this round. As now you've got Nitro who's staying alive just above the fire. The only last man standing down to one on two. He spotted the feet there. And so now, just on the other side, going to be pushing up. Very aggressive now, clearing out the angles. And there goes oh. Nitro. Picks up the kill. 
So in the end, even though Adrin couldn't pick up the kill, it didn't make that much of it. Well, it made an impact. They could have ended the round earlier. Uh, but there you have it. So 11 to 10 now is the score in favor of Virtus Pro. And, Ni and Nitro's been coming up huge in the series so far. Even on Cash, he had some really nice plays. But that is such a massive round for them to win. Uh, just as I'm talking about having to win some rounds, put some economic damages, he comes out and they win an eco. And that's just huge. Oh, you saw Adren, he struggled there, and he's going to get taken down by Neo. Neo, again, the economy is such a factor here, and so he's able to buy another uh, auto sniper to go into this round, even though they lost the previous one. So you can see just there at the feet, such a just a fun angle there for Neo. And that's such a stressful way to die for Adren, just getting shot in the ankles a couple times. He doesn't even know where it's coming from. Unties his shoes and then takes him out. So we'll take a look now. You got one player that was, uh, I believe, there was an op. Uh, you're, let's see, I'm trying to apologize. We got Skadoodle, who knows that the op is down just outside there. That's such a challenging thing to do. They're just waiting to see if any player will start to push up. Let's switch over here uh, to Swag, who's on the inside. He's going to get taken down. 45 seconds left here in the round. They know where both of these players are at. Now it's going to be left up to Nitro. And Pasha, who does what he does best, lurking about. He pushed through Ivy and picks up that one. 12 to 10 now. Virtus Pro, three rounds away from uh, uh, tie point. And one thing we didn't see from Ivy Power All on Cash, because they played it very well. And uh, you see they got two players got picked off on that last round just right off the bat. And their last three players were spread out in three different locations. So even if they wanted to try and make a plan of action, they're so far apart from each other, they can't do anything together. It's just a series of one-on-one -on -one battles. And, and they're just being just far too spread out on this map, just not organized. Well, it's difficult to win one-on-one -on -one battles on when you're on the T side as well. It's the angles really are advantageous for the counter-terrorist and those angles and where they can watch from. As we'll look at it, see what we've got on the inside. You've got Neo now switched over towards the inside. Kind of uh, playing the game. You know, changing things up, analyzing, realizing that they hit towards the outside multiple times. And now this time Neo says, all right, I rely on my teammates to worry about the outside. I've got the inside with my teammate. Here comes the smokes and the flashes there. They're going to get up on the high ground. He's tapping away, doesn't connect there. Working in towards the site. Now Neo's picked up one there. Now they're going to come back around, see if they can continue there. Snack's going to get dropped there by Nitro. And Swag, look out though. Neo is still just causing so much damage now. 39 health left there, and he finishes off the round 13 to 10. And Neo says, All right, I'm good. Just wreaking havoc with that auto sniper. And he's really, he picked that gun up, and he's having some massive impact on these last few rounds with it. Uh, and just huge for huge for Virtus Pro if he can stay uh, this on fire through the rest of this map, and even uh, if they end up winning it, they're on to the next map. So we'll see. They've got, uh, right now, uh, if you look on the right side of your screen, they've got a Drin with a CZ. We'll stay here with Neo. They're going to go for that same barrel smoke again that, that Virtus Pro did the same pistol round they did. So there's the smokes over the top. There's that one. And uh, you can see Taz, he realizes that uh, that angle, uh, but Bialy has got the uh, the area over here. He's missing every kill from Bialy now. And it's left up to Adrin, and there we go. I at least caught the last one. Right. <laughs> yeah, well done. But you, you see, the way they countered it perfectly, they, they saw the smokes coming over, they knew it was Nico, they knew what was coming, that barrel smoke, and instead of uh, trying to spray through the smoke, actually the defense kind of shifted to the other side where the smokes weren't. They were playing on top of those trains, had great visibility, uh, and just were able to mow them down before they even got anywhere near the plant. That's a smart to mention, the fact that they, they, they changed their, their angle and they got high, they got above the smoke to, to be able to see over the top and make things happen. So now... Uh, we'll see if uh, Skadoodle can make something, or at least open up this round. He's uh, going to be offing against Pasha. So now Swag says, all right, let's try this again. Let's get you boosted up here, up on top of the fence now. And there will be a nade there. And uh, Swag trying to draw the fire, trying to draw the attention so he's watching that lower angle. I think he's trying to give uh, Pasha the illusion that it's just an AK there. It's not an all. Right. I'm trying to get, got to get him peek into that that angle, that sniper angle. Now they haven't pushed up, so we haven't missed anything yet. If you, there is one player uh, that is Snacks who's watching the inside. Smokes, 
laying things out here. Well, let's just switch over here for a moment, go back over into this side of the action. They're going to continue their little one-on-one -on -one battle, but we haven't really seen anything from that yet. But we do have Snacks right here. Holding, there's AZK, Adren, and Nitro pushing up. There goes one. Peek is back out, picks up his second one. And now it is Nitro's turn. And Snacks, all you need is one health. That's all it takes. And so he's going to back up. Hopes that the fire doesn't fall on top of him. And so now they're going to go ahead and rotate back towards the outside. There's Swag. Yeah, They'll be pushing up. And now it's going to be left up to Skadoodle. He misses the shot 15 to 10. And so now we're at game point here for Virtus Pro. If you're just now tuning in, get you all caught up to date. First map cash, 16-4 in favor of I buy power. Here we're on DE train, 15-10. And if we need to, and it looks like we're gonna, there's a chance for it, uh, we'll be heading on to DE Inferno. And what a great way to kick off ESEA Season 17 is by starting off with all three maps from a best of three. Especially from a team like Virtus Pro and I Buy Power. Yeah, and we're seeing we're seeing I Buy Power uh, actually spread out across the map again. They have one in Alley and one in Mid, and it looks like they're doing oh, a, a Dren with the Scout headshot. Going for the jumping Scout now. It's caused a little bit of a damage there. Nice nade over the top. That's going to force him out. He will get dropped there by AZK. So far, been a successful round. Now it's been quickly flipped as Snacks moves his way in there. And Adrin, we should have been staying with him. I don't know why you didn't yell at me. As, uh, so now we've got Adrin, who's picked up two kills, both of them coming from a scout. And now left up to Neo. Neo, 55 seconds. He has the economy to work. He has 11K right now as we speak. Bomb has dropped inside of the uh, that A bomb site, though. And there he goes. Adrin had a chance there. He should have stuck with the scout. And made over the top, just barely missing, but oh. they will finish off the round 16 to 10.